Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of the getting started tutorial. In the first part, we created and configured our very first DAG sub repository. In this part, we will download and add a project to our local directory. We'll track those files using DVC and git and push them to the remote. So let's get started with a simple DVC get command that downloads files from any git repository or DVC storage without tracking them. Let's copy and paste these set of commands into our terminal and see okay so while we download the important files let's have a quick project overview so this project is a simple ham or spam classifier for emails using the enron data set the structure is super simple where we have a data directory which contains the enron.csv file which is our data we have a requirements.txt file which will be in which we will be installing next and we have a src or source directory which has three files the data preprocessing file processes the raw data splits it into train and test data sets and saves it into the data directory the modeling.py holds the code for a simple random forest regressor and cons.py is our file with all the utility functions that we will need okay now that we have downloaded the file successfully, let's see. Okay, we have the data directory as well as the SRC as well as our requirements file. So what's next? Okay, we'll install the requirements. Let's do it quickly. Click install. Sorry. Okay, now that we have successfully installed all the requirements, let's see what's next. So we need to track the files using git and dvc, but first we need to decide which files will be tracked by git and which will be tracked by dvc. So it says that, okay, so because the data directory contains the data set for the project, which are quite big, thus we will track this directory using dvc and we'll use git to track rest of the project's file. So to track the files with dvc, it's super simple. We just need to execute the dvc add data command. Let's go and do it. Awesome. And the next, so now um, we also need to track the changes with git. So we are going to copy the git add data dot dvc dot git ignore command as well. Let's run this. Awesome. So what's next? We are going to commit these files with the message add the data directory to dvc tracking i'm going to copy the message as it is to stay as close to the tutorial as possible awesome we've committed the files now is the time to track the files with git so first we'll check the status of our directory awesome so we need to commit the requirements file as well as the source directory so let's copy these command which adds these file to git and then commits them using the message awesome that was quick what's next so now that we have the files already added with the commit message let's push them to the remote for dvc it's super simple dvc push to the origin there we go and for git let's copy the super simple message to git push let's do the git push oops let's try again awesome is it okay it's done let's see how our dag sub repository looks now awesome we have the initialized dvc commit as well as we've added the requirements and source to get tracking and the data directory to dvc tracking this looks perfect to me what's next in the tutorial okay yes let's quickly check the data directory yes it has our file the edron.csv data awesome okay there we go our data being displayed perfect okay this looks good let's go back to the tutorial and see what's left 
Okay, so we are going to process and track the data changes. So we want to pre-process our data and we'll track the results using DVC. So if we run the data pre-processing file, we should have four new files of processed data to the data directly. Let's go run the command and see how it works out for us. Okay, now that the code has executed successfully, let's look at our data directory and see if there are additional. Okay, perfect. So earlier we just had the enron.csv file and now we have all the added files after pre-processing. So what's next? We're going to add the changes to the data to DVC. We're going to commit them and push them to our remote or the DVC or the data tags hub directory. So let's get back to our root folder, do a dvc add command, add data.dvc to git and commit it. Super simple. There we go and paste the instructions. Awesome. Now it's time to push the changes to the remote. Let's copy the dvc push command as well and do it. So now we'll push the changes to git as well. Perfect. So now that we have pushed everything to our DAX hub repository, let's go and check the status of the data directory now. Okay, we go to the data directory. Awesome. There we have all the four files generated after running the data pre-processing code. So we have completed the second part of our getting started tutorial. See you in the third one.